Your whole body language screams weird. Like it reminds me of the movie Get Out. Are you okay over there? <laughs> Oh, so fabulous <laughs> hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is Tumi Bilia. if you're new here welcome if you're a returning subscriber welcome back first of all i have to say that the purpose of this video is strictly to educate people who might not be knowledgeable about these issues please don't go looking for this man to bash him or anything i'm just going to play this video and i'll be right back hey friends it's abraham yes i'm actually here at uh the walmart in cedar city Yes, I live in the state of Utah and I love it. It's a great place with wonderful people. And I gotta talk to you about that video that you just saw. That's an example of fake outrage. Let me tell you more. That video that you saw, it seemed to have happened right about here if you see this sign there and this back there. So do you remember about 2004, there was a movie, very popular movie, really funny movie with the Wayans brothers. It was called White Chicks. It was two black actors with white face on. There was no outrage. No one was upset. As a matter of fact, I think that that movie made a ton of money. A lot of people were so excited about it. So therefore, there should be no outrage, no one upset over a bunch of very cool, awesome, nice kids in Cedar City on it's halloween again this is abraham i support this message i live in the state of utah i actually know these people so i can tell you unequivocally um or in other words i can tell you with all the, the truth and and and, and uh 100 there's nothing rude about those kids doing face and please if you're trying to divide my community of utah you're gonna have to try it a lot harder than that we don't play those games here thanks so much for watching this video i hope you have a great rest of your day and keep smiling you guys i need to say first of all what this man was saying was downright it sounded very ignorant and even his mannerisms the way he spoke he saw he was giving me get out vibes like he sounded brainwashed he sounded like he had been told to say this he sounded like he had been paid to say this first of all i felt like okay is this man serious this has to be a satire i was waiting like for the end part for him to be like oh guys i'm just kidding but no i came to the end of the video and i was like this man really means what he said like he said what he said and he obviously believes it basically he's endorsing the whole incident that happened you guys i made a video on it i'm just going to drop the link to that particular video in the comment section you guys check it out we know that this is not right we know that that is wrong so people obviously were expressing outrage when the video dropped and then this man bless his soul decided to come out defending it let me play some reactions by some people so that you guys can better understand why what he said doesn't really make sense but there was a movie very very popular movie really funny movie with the wayans brothers what in the uncle ruckus is going the f on here dog so you do not see those white teenagers dressed as black people in jail outfits displaying them as criminals in halloween costumes do you not see this or i'm um, or i'm confused what what are you not seeing here do you understand that people like that were dressing up as mammies and sambos and stuff and saying that that's how we are? And I will 100% say that I do not believe all white people are racist. I will honestly say that. But I don't know what is this man right here for? Because I see that he has mixed children, half black children. So what are you teaching them? We would like to know your whole body language screams weird like it reminds me of the movie get out are you okay over there it was two black actors with white face on sip tea with me y'all so you're comparing two uncomparable things that aren't even in the same realm see uh, white chicks was satire and it was two cops dressing up like white women to save their career but going full white women not white face uh, and also the whole movie was about them making African-American jokes in front of white people 
And they didn't use it as a mean to demean a race or look down upon another race or think another race is less than. What those kids did in Walmart was race because they were in criminal outfits with a race. The rest of their skin was white. They were using it to harm and portray a stereotype that black people are criminals. Period. Do better. Hey, friends. It's Abraham. I'm going to try to be as tactful as I can because I'm sure there's a lot of people coming for you right now, and I don't want to add to that fray. So I'm, I'm going to try to choose my words very carefully here. I question, sir, how it is that you can look at those kids in that video, just not even the fact that they're in face, but also how they're dressed and the caricature of it all, if you will, and not see the race implications behind their behavior. I question how it is you don't see that they're playing right into the stereotype of black men in America. The fact that they were in oversized clothes, that they were stagging, that the other girls around these these little boys that were in black face were dressed as cops. Like you really you don't you don't get that. You don't you don't get that they're playing into this idea that Black men are thugs, that black men are uneducated, that black men always end up in jail, that they're not playing right in to the, the negative portrayal by American news and American media of black men. I, I fail to understand how you as a black man don't see that and don't understand that. Or perhaps I should say, I fail to understand how you as a black man would choose not to see that and choose not to understand that. Over a bunch of very cool, awesome, nice kids. You know what I think now? I think some of y'all just be acting this out because no way you're going to come and just automatically think they are very awesome, nice kids. Like y'all get on this platform and be out to the core to the white audience just to get likes. But it's like y'all really be on this app like selling y'all soul because no Way. I believe some of y'all be really capping, big capping. They're very nice kids. They knew what the hell they was doing. They put, they literally put, why you gotta be a black guy though? Like, 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 respectfully, why you gotta be black? They could have just had the suit on. You really paint their faces and they look like a bunch of clowns, but they're very nice kids. And you got a platform, got a whole bunch of followers liking your shit, which I know is mainly white people, but it's not a problem. Seriously? It was called white. <laughs> I swear, y'all make this way too easy. So what he's trying to do in this video is pretty much trying to defend the kids by using white chicks as a aha gotcha moment. However, whenever, whenever somebody brings up this as a uh, point to prove that black people are doing white face or whatever, it's the simple fact that you have two black men who are having to change their whole identity right they have to change their skin tone they have to change the way that they talk they're pretty much having to code switch which is something that's real that happens in real life in order to fit into another society that is seen as rich proper and full of money and then you take what these kids have done and how they tend to portray the black community right so they dress themselves in black skin as well as wearing prison uniforms to pretty much play on the the stereotype of the black community always having problem with the law so on one aspect you have one portraying the community in a negative aspect and then on the other hand you have one that would where it portrays the another community in a positive light now this is where i say history is important because throughout history we have understand what black skin and how face was portrayed whenever it was prominent during this time and anytime there was a black face it was never playing on the stereotypes they were considered to be good because while these kids dressed themselves up in prison uniform and black skin they could have portrayed somebody who was black as well as successful and this will be the same reason why it is looked down upon whenever a white person or somebody who from outside the black community uses the n-word or uses aeve because the only time y'all know how to do these things is whenever y'all want to degrade somebody from the black community and the only time y'all know how to portray the black community is whenever y'all play on the aspects of them being from the ghetto. Y'all don't want to portray a successful black lawyer or a successful uh, black banker. And again, this is through history, because if you look at history and how people portray the black community, these are things that we always see on a constant basis. And this is one of the reasons why blackface is looked down upon. First of all, I'm not sure if you're talking in that tone 
strictly on the strength of that's how you talk. And if it is, God love you. But that is some creepy stuff. And I mean creepy. Second of all, you are the reason that people who do that type of stuff continue to do that because you excuse it away as if it's not wrong. And they'll want to use the basis of white chicks as if that wasn't a movie. And we all know it was a movie that they went undercover. Did you forget that part? They were undercover for saving those girls' lives. But okay, go off. Excuse them all you want to, but I guarantee if something were to pop off, you would be the first casualty. I hope you understand that. Good night. About that video that you just saw, that's an example of fake outrage. Please watch his whole video. I think he's very confused. They are in Utah, which is 95% Mormon. Okay? He's talking about the kids that did face in the Walmart. The reason why Mormons feel no shame in making fun of black people is because in their scripture, and when we were taught, because I'm an ex-Mormon, that black people were the mark of the beast. We're the mark of Cain. Not to trust them. Not to give a shit about them. So I would be careful who you trust in Utah being a black man and white chicks. The movie has nothing to do with face. Oh my gosh. Actually, I watched White Chicks. I love that movie till tomorrow, till forever. I really love that movie. It was very entertaining. But I didn't watch that movie and get negative vibes about white people because they were not portrayed in a negative light. And need I say that there's no such thing as white face. They did not put on in quotes white face. They did a whole, they actually had to like put on white skin all through. So they didn't look like caricature images of white people, unlike the face ideology where people basically are meant to look very ugly in exaggerated black paint face is really ugly and then the exaggerated pink lips i feel like if this man knew the history of black face maybe he wouldn't have come out to say this thing that he said so one thing i want to know is if you're saying all these things pandering to white people talking about how they're doing something that is as offensive as face and you see nothing wrong about it you're coming out to say this and they're in the comments bigging you up saying oh go king we support you i'm just wondering does it really make him immune to rape attacks when the time comes as far as i'm concerned the fact that you're black you're going to get the same treatment every black person would get if they came across a white person with prejudices against black people the fact that you're here pandering to them does not save you does not exempt you from such treatments do you guys think that him comparing white chicks the movie to this whole face thing makes any sense i want to know your thoughts in the comments please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up share this video to your friends people who are interested in topics like this subscribe if you haven't and i'll be back soon with the video about him saying his kids are 100 right bye guys